Hello my lovely Taurus, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name's Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. It's almost Valentine's Day so this is going to be a Valentine's reading for you. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So Angel Spirit guys, what's the messages for our lovely Taurus this Valentine's please? Oh, oh okay we've got the Devil card here. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, can we have one more card please? There have been a lot of challenges in your relationship or in past relationships there was a lot of challenges and things didn't move the way you wanted them to move they moved really slowly oh you've got the Hierophant card here okay right so if you're in a relationship right now, you could be overcoming a lot of challenges in this relationship. Um, there's a lot of fears around it. I feel for your other person because I feel here that maybe you want to get married. Maybe you want to have a family. There's something that you want out of this relationship and it's not coming in. It's coming in really, really slowly. So the challenge is here that... You want to, because you've got the Hierophant card here, and the Hierophant card is all about tradition, it's about marriage, it's about connection, it's about that spiritual connection. And I feel that for some of you, you want to take your relationship to the next level. You want to get engaged, you want to get married, you want to have the family, you want to have your happy ever after. And the chat, you've got this person that you're with is not sure if that's what they want. And maybe they're saying this what they want, but nothing seems to be happening with the Knight of Pentacles here. Everything seems to be moving really slowly. And there could even be a separation here as well. Because you want the marriage, you want the family. But your other person is unsure. And they, might, they may be telling you it's what you want. It's what they want, sorry. They may be telling you that they want the family, they want the marriage, they want all of that. But they're not doing anything about it. They're moving really slowly. And I feel the reason they're moving slowly is because they're not really sure if it's what they want. So for some of you in a relationship, you may be feeling like, is this worth it? And if you're not in a relationship... You could be in a separation thinking, do I hold on? Do I wait? Do I leave? What do I do? Do I let this go? And do I find someone that wants the same things as me? This is where you are at the moment. This is where you're in that state of confusion. Or this could have been happening in the recent past. And that's why there's a separation here. Because this person, I'm getting energy if this is your other person with the devil card here, that they're unsure if they want the marriage and the family or they just want to continue living the, the life that they're living. They're happy with the way their life is. They don't know if they want to uh, move forward in that way in a relationship yet so you may have walked away because this person's just going really slow and not doing anything about it even though they're saying that's what they want there's nothing happening so you could have walked away from this there could be a separation in this or you could be thinking do I want to stay so this is very recent slash present moment so these cards are meant to be in the in the recent past but I am getting the energy that this is just happening now or it has happened and at the moment I feel there could be a separation or a separation on the cards because I feel that you're starting to think do you two want different things so even though you want to marry this person you want to have the family with this person is that is your other person on the same wavelength so some of you could have already walked away thinking I need to find someone that wants the same things of me as me and stop wasting my time because nothing seems to be moving in a relationship, even though there are words saying there's going to be movement, there isn't actually anything happening. But let's get the what's going on right now for you. So what's going on for Taurus's relationship right now? The Queen of Pentacles. Okay. What else do we need to know? Temperance. And the ace of wands so the queen of pentacles here is your energy i feel you're starting to like, kind of step out onto your own and feel like you know if this isn't something that's going to happen for me i need to be courageous i need to be independent i need to go and 
find myself again, I need to start looking for the things that I want to look for and start looking for someone that is, does want the same things as me. Um, there could be an element here because you've also got the temperance card that you may feel that you need to rush it and the reason why you may feel that way is because you may feel you're running out of time maybe you're getting a little bit older maybe your biological clock is ticking and that's for men and for women do you know what I mean like men want a family just as much as women do and they might feel that they're running out of time now men doesn't necessarily need to run out of time apart from age, because you can have babies at any age, but for a woman, obviously, naturally, you know, there is a kind of age limit. No, there's not. You can get pregnant at very out of the age, but you want to watch your children grow. Because I do feel there is a family element here, that you want a family. You want to get married and have the kids and the dog and the house and all that kind of traditional stuff, because the Hierophant here is about tradition, and I feel that's what you want. So you're starting to feel that you need to move forward, you need to go towards the things that you want to go towards and you and, and, and find someone that's gonna that wants the same things as you. And you're gonna start taking that courage, you're gonna start taking that independency and go for those particular things. Now the temperance card here is asking you to be patient with it. Don't rush into another relationship, don't try and rush your person if it, if you want to stick with with them, don't rush anything. Just have patience, find balance within yourself. Go for the things that you want to do. Leave your person to make up their own mind. And um, for now, just go out there, find balance within, be patient with yourself, find the right person. Because I feel that there is somebody that wants to uh, wants the same things as you. But I don't feel there's a strong enough energy here for me to say whether this is the person that you are currently with or whether it's somebody new. Because there is an offering coming in with the Ace of Wands here. There is an offering. So this offering could be your person coming in with an offer of marriage, of an offer of uh, engagement, um, starting a family. It could be that. But this also could be an offering from the universe of they're going to put something in your path. They're going to put something, um, an opportunity in front of you. It's an offer from the universe. And you'll know the opportunity and you'll know the um, the person when you see it. But there's an offer coming in, in love. There's an offer of love coming in. Now, this could be your person with an offer of um, marriage, but it could be somebody new. And this is why you're being asked to have patience right now. Don't rush into anything. Trust yourself. Go within and make sure this is the right decision for you. Because there could be a, a very... I, I am getting energy that you know this person. You know this person. So it could be your person coming in with marriage or it could be somebody else that's just been waiting in the shadows. Just knows that this person might not be the right person for you and has just been waiting for you to come to that realisation yourself. And then you're going to have, they're going to come in and offer you something. So you've got the, you need to be patient right now. And you need to go for the things that you want to go for. But let's get into your future reading and see if this, what, who this person is for you. What's the future reading for our lovely Taurus's love life, please? What's the future for Taurus's Valentine's reading? Okay. The King of Pentacles. This person that's... This person that's going to offer you something is very stable and very secure soulmate energy. This is a soulmate energy. For some of you, this could be, oh, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so we've got the King of Pentacles, the Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune here. So the King of Pentacles, this is the, someone in your life. So this could be your person. This could be someone uh, new that's going to come in with this offer. It's a very strong energy that this is actually somebody that you already know that's been waiting in the shadows for you. So this King of Pentacles is someone that's very stable, very secure, very much knows where they're going in life and very much knows what they want out of life. There's no kind of like, oh, I don't know if this is what I want. Oh, I'm not sure. I enjoy my single. There's none of that crap. This person knows what they want. They're very successful in their career. 
again, they're very financially stable, but more than that, I feel that they're very emotionally stable, but they're not someone that chases if they don't see a positive outcome. If they know that something's like, do you know what, I'm just not sure that that's gonna work for me, or I know I'm gonna get like rejected, or I know that that person isn't ready for me to come in yet, they will hold back. And I feel that this is what this person, if this is somebody new coming into your life, this person's been doing, they've been holding back, they've been waiting for you to realize that maybe this person isn't the one that wants the same things as you. And they are very successful and very stable within themselves. Not just like financially, but within themselves. They're very stable. I feel they may have gone through some kind of heartbreak before and they've overcome that. So they know what they want now. Because then you've got the two of cups, which is a soulmate energy. There's going to be a connection. And I feel that that connection could have already been there. But because you've been with somebody else, that they you've never really seen it as anything else but like a work connection or a friendship connection or anything like that but there is actually a soulmate connection here there's um and i feel that when you take this opportunity when you take this offer that connection is just going to get stronger and stronger between you both because i feel like your soulmate is standing right in front of you and you just can't see it right now because you're too involved in this this relationship here and then finally, then we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So things are going to be turning around for you. And I feel they're going to be turning around for the better. So the Wheel of Fortune constantly turns. Sometimes you have the good time. Sometimes you have the bad time. And I feel that you've been in this um, state of no man's land, like not really knowing what's, go what's happening or where you're going or how someone feels about you. Very confused, very uh, quite a dark place you've been in. Well, the Wheel of Fortune is showing that this is all going to turn around. You're going to know exactly where you are. You're going to know exactly who you want to be with. And this offer coming in is going to show you that. So things are going to be turning around for you, Taurus, in the very near future. Now, on the bottom of the deck, we do have the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is um, about self-love, about self-care, uh, a very caring, loving, nurturing person. I feel this is you. And this is you're very empathetic. So this past, this person here in your past or, or relatively in your present moment, um, they've taken advantage of that kind, can, caring nature of you, that very forgiving, um, loving, oh, you know, yeah, I'll give it, I'll just give it another chance. I'm sure it's all going to work out. It's absolutely going to be fine. And it's just like, no, you know, no. Turn that love and attention onto yourself. Stop settling for something that isn't making you happy, that isn't bringing you joy, that isn't filling you up with love. Okay, you need to stop giving so much to somebody that isn't giving back to you and start giving all that energy, love and care to yourself. And that is a really important message for you here, Taurus. But let's get some lovers oracle cards for you. So if you like today's reading, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel and I appreciate it so much. Thank you. If you'd like a personal reading, then do check out my Etsy shop, RM Tarot. There's a link in the description box below for you. Um, between the 10th of February and the 17th of February, I do have um, a special Valentine's reading on my Etsy shop. It's only on there for one week. So if you'd like to take advantage of a personal Valentine's reading, then do go and check that out. And if you're on TikTok, do go and give me a follow over on TikTok. Uh, again, there's a link in the description box below. So the cards that came out for you with the Lovers Oracle card is freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. I hope that's focusing. Okay, so set yourself free. Set yourself free from something that isn't going to work. Stop trying to make it work. Set yourself free from it. And on the bottom of the deck, we have new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Okay, and I feel this is what this Wheel of Fortune is. This is a new beginning. Set yourself free from this. If it's not for you, if it's not going to bring in the things that you want, you need to set yourself free. You need to have patience with yourself because there's a new offer coming in and it's going to lead to a new beginning. But more importantly, take care of your own mental and, mental and emotional well-being. So ask your angels a question with the Angel Answer Oracle card deck. Any question you like about your love life and we'll get an answer from the deck. If you want to pause me, then do feel free to pause me. So, Angel Spirit, guys, what's the answer to Taurus's question, please? 
What's the answer to Taurus's question, please? Oh, okay. We've got remain positive. Okay, you need to remain... Why is that not focusing? You need to remain positive right now. Things might feel a bit dark. They might feel a bit painful for you, but continue to remain positive, okay? Because things will turn around for you. And on the bottom of the deck, we do have unlikely. Okay, so something that you want to bring into your, your life, whether it's marriage, proposal with this person, it could be very unlikely that this is gonna happen. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Taurus. Thank you for spending that time for me. I really do appreciate it. Anything resonates, do drop it in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And whenever you're watching this, I hope you're having a great day today. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Happy Valentine's Day, guys.